What's going on guys? Welcome to part two of this Grixis control list. If you missed part one, I do recommend going and checking that out. Uh, we didn't do quite as well as I would have hoped. We only got one win, so I'm hoping to uh, to up that number in this video, but really do like the list. It's a fun one. Uh, it's, it's a pretty standard Grixis control list, but it is very, very good. So uh, we'll do the best we can to hopefully up that number. Um, do we like this hand? It's a bit slow. Uh, these tapped lands are a little rough. Um, we can't do anything technically till turn four with a hand like this. I think we have to mulligan, um, as terrible as that is. Uh, this we will keep. Seems rough, I know, but we're gonna try something. Um, we'll do this and we'll pass. Uh, then we get to lean on Thought Eraser, which I think is pretty good. And then of course Croxa, um, which I like quite a lot. So let's do this. Oh, good. We got our land. That was a little scary, uh, but we got there. <laughs> uh, all right. So what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Um, actually don't care much about this. The riddle form is a little annoying. Um, honestly, I don't know. Maybe it's the riddle form. I think we take that. Uh, and we'll keep the bedevil knowing that They've got, they're looking to do really good stuff with one thing. Uh, and so we need to be able to devalue that one thing as much as possible. Thankfully, we've got plenty of ways to do that. So, all right. Um, do we want to Croxa first uh, and then next turn maybe hit them? I'm going to try that. It's a bit of a longer play, um, but it makes them commit theoretically a bit more. Um, we're going to take some damage here, no doubt, but the discard a shock. Perfect. Okay. Well, hopefully we can get this Croxa down not too late in the game. We do need to hit some more lands here, but we do have the Bedevils to help us get to where we need to be. So I don't feel terrible about our position. It's fine. Uh, well, that is a land. It's technically what we asked for. Um, that actually does not help very much, so we're going to pass on that. Um, and we're just going to pass leaving up the devil. Um, nice that we have these because it just means that we're able to peg this sprite dragon pretty quickly here. Uh, before it gets too out of hand. Uh, sure. Let's actually do this so they don't get the scry. Um, unless they've got a pro spell, which they could have, but okay, good. Looks like they don't. So that just keeps them from having that scry. Um, by fizzling the spell, they lose it. So that's super helpful for us. Uh, these flyers are annoying. An extinction event would be quite nice. Ugh, that's not an extinction event. Um. Hmm. Let's do this. We're gonna get into a weird spot here though, for sure. Yeah. Um. All right, let's do this. I said we needed extinction of it and then I, I nixed it, but it's fine. Everything's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and phase that out. Um, now we'll see if they wanna come for Teferi or if they wanna come for me. Um, either way is kind of fine, I guess. It's not great either way, but like, you know, one to the top, okay. Oh, they can just shock this, so that's probably what they should do, I assume. <laughs> sure. But if they shock that, it's, it's damage not coming to us. So either way, I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, or they're gonna attack it, maybe. I don't know what they're planning. That is a phenomenal draw. Um, okay, so let's do this first. Land is just exactly what we needed, so I'm very happy to get that. I assume they're shocking here. That would make the most sense. Because they can't really let it sit. We get to activate it at instant speed. Okay, or not. Um, I am going to discard that Teferi, though, because we do kind of 
need all of this. So here, I think we actually have to hold off and bedevil because we were silly and, um, yeah. All right, they still didn't. That's surprising. Um, we have to be able to bedevil one of these guys. That's why we're doing this. I'm gonna resolve all here first. Uh, let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, let's see what they do. Can we hit it? If so, we live. If not, we die. <laughs> um, I think we'll, we could potentially get out of this. I mean, oh, actually, maybe it was right to hit the riddle form. Hmm. I'm regretting that a little bit. Um, so if we had hit the riddle form, we could have just nickel bolus the Stormwing entity. Um, but this keeps us out of shock range, so like, there's that. Um, we can phase this guy out, so that's helpful. Um, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, we'll do this. We're in a tricky spot. There's no doubt about that. Um, despite a lot of misplays on my end, we may be able to get out of this, but I don't feel great about it. I think um, that was a bit of a misplay potentially because they do only have one, one land here. But we just don't have a great way to gain life, so... I, I felt like that was a safer play. Um, we can phase it out at instant speed, uh, theoretically. But if they've just got like a good burn spell to kill a fairy, then we're done for. I don't know what four mana burn spell would hit a planeswalker, but uh, yeah. I mean, this is my worry, is that they could have literally anything here. <laughs> um, interesting. Okay. Um, you have no weakness I cannot exploit. Should have scryed first. That was a bit of a mistake to you. Meh. We'll keep it. It's not great. So now we just, like, lose, right? Potentially. Oh, I guess we don't. I mean, theoretically we can, but... So this discards whatever cards left. Unsummon, okay. So depending on what they drew, we don't lose. That's where we're at. For all intents and purposes, yeah, okay. Well, we should, we, we lost. <laughs> um, and we should have given the misplays that we put in. That was definitely wrong. Um, yep, you got me. All right, that was a... Uh, Pretty awesome first game. We were close to being able to get it, but um, uh, to, to turn those tables, we had gotten them down to no cards in hand, uh, which is exactly where we wanted them to be, but um, that riddle form draw off the top just makes it so they can attack in. So that's fine. Let's jump into game two. Um, still, uh, obviously, some misplays on my end, so I'm hoping to clean those up as we go through, but uh, I think it definitely... Well, no, actually... So we would have lost even sooner had we killed the riddle form due to the, uh, the, what am I trying, the bone crusher giant. I couldn't think of the name. Um, due to, it's just going to deal two man or two damage to us and then we just die. Um, do I like this hand? Not really. This is like better. Uh, I think we actually put Teferi back, uh, as much as I love Teferi. <laughs> Um, 
Flame Sweep's not bad, just so it, we've got a three mana way to deal with a bunch of stuff. Uh, no idea this uh, Ragrin Trium could be, uh, looks like Planeswalker Control. Okay, um, well, let's go ahead and do this. Kinda just wanna hit lands, specifically a black land. Um, I'm gonna actually throw both of these in the graveyard. Okay, well, that's not amazing, to be honest. Um, but we're here. We got it. We're gonna do the best we can. Yep. <clears throat> Glad we didn't keep that discovery on top. That would have been terrible. Um, we should have the devil, but we need a black land. Interesting. Um... I'm just gonna do that. Um, well, land. So, what do we want to do here is the question. I mm, I don't really like just playing Lazav out. Uh, we can instant speed flame sweep, so I think that's the best. Sure. Also, just don't, like, care that much about this 1-1 one, one shark. I mean, it's a 1-1 one, one shark. Like... Worst things have happened. Like, part of me wants to take the opportunity to get rid of it, and part of me is just saying, no, don't worry about it. It does threaten Planeswalkers, which is why I kind of am thinking that way, but I'm going to pass here. All right. Thought Erasure is at least a start here. We're kind of getting unlucky. We're missing land drops pretty badly here. Whoa. Okay. Well, all of these are terrible. Um... Ugh, all of these are garbage for us. Um, I think we take that because it's the most clock heavy kind of thing, but all of these are going to wreck us. There's no way it doesn't. <clears throat> sure. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Got another Narsa. Okay. Fair enough. Um... Kind of just wanted to play this out at some point so we can just hit even on Extinction Event and be done with it. We'll see what they get outside as well. Dovin's Veto. Uh, do I care about Dovin's Veto? Not that much, to be honest. Um, whoops. Let's do this. Uh, we need black. We just gotta have that. Um... Do, do I just do this? <laughs> um, let's flame sweep. And then let's play this out there. We can't play that. So, no. Uh, we don't have three black. So there's not really a reason to take that. Uh, Ugin we can actually deal with pretty efficiently here. So that's why I left those two Ugins, by the way. The, the problem with Chandra is as soon as it comes down, you get because it can't be countered, you're going to get an activation. Um, and so that activation puts a very strong clock on us, uh, which is a problem. So uh, do we just run this straight into a counter? Because we know it's going to go straight into a counter. Yes. Let's eat it because we just have to. Yeah. Uh, we could have done, I mean, we could have tried some other stuff, but there wasn't much that would have really helped. Um, Extinction Event kills us, and Bedevil killing a Narset really isn't that great when they've got another Narset in hand. So, unfortunately, their control deck is beating our control deck um, pretty efficiently. Sure. 
Ow, so many extinction events. Okay, well, now let's do it. Hope they don't have anything. Just get the heck out of there. I hate Fae of Witches. Such an annoying card. I've like actively re like not played decks that have Fae of Witches in <laughs> it. Um, which is so dumb because it's such a good card. I just hate playing that card. Uh, it's a very frustrating card to play play with um, and against. <laughs> um, that's good because now we do have the triple black, uh, which is awesome. I'm going to go ahead and kill this Narset. That's kind of a frustrating card for us to deal with, so I just want to kind of cleanly get rid of it. Um, they have a lot in their hand, but they're not able to do a ton um sure they just like they um they're short on lands as we are um but we're kind of catching up a bit Ooh, that's gonna hurt though that's really gonna hurt i mean they could just play out bone crusher giant here to be fair oh look exactly what i just said they would do um all right well this is about the best we're going to be able to do. We can't draw more than one card. That's fine. Um, we'll get rid of an extinction event. We knew that, but we have to plus this up. That's the best thing we can do. Um, I'm going to phase that out. Might have been better, actually, to just plus that up. Essentially equates to the same thing. Ooh, that's not good. Croxa. Hmm. Like, we just lose, right? We've, we've got to at this point. Nothing affects that. We can do this, but it's really not helpful. So I'm just gonna pass. <laughs> Here they get to play Chandra. <laughs> oh, well that is even better. I guess. Oh, man. Yep. I mean, we're definitely dead. So they've got Chandra in hand to be able to start clocking us. Um... They also have an Elspeth Conqueror's Death, so even if they don't get that Chandra out, they've got another one in their graveyard. <laughs> like, they have got plenty. Um, yeah, there's there's no way we win. And this Shark Typhoon going as well is definitely a problem. Yep. See what they do. They just get Ugin back next turn. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and call this. They definitely have it. All right, well, let's jump into game three and hopefully we can get, at least get one win in this video. Um, we're already at 20 minutes with this one too. These, these games are going a lot longer than video one, but that's okay. Um, 
unfortunately, I am not playing super well, but um, also think we just didn't have a, a great start against that deck. We, um, without having the lands, uh, and we really did get stuck on lands a little bit there, I think that's just, uh, you're going to get behind. Against a control deck, you really can't afford it. Um, and unfortunately, we had it, so, or didn't have it, I should say. All right, let's see what we can do. Uh, this is a keep. This is a pretty good keep. Uh, with a double thought erasure, Croxa. This is definitely a keep. But we'll see if we can make it work. Let's go ahead and throw this out there. Okay. If they want to do nothing, I'm fine with that. That'd be great. What's really nice about having like multiple discard outlets um, is you can kind of not worry too much about what the best card is and worry about what the next card they could play is um, because that turns out to be the uh, more effective way to deal with stuff sometimes, but we'll see once we get in there. Um, ooh, all of these are quite good. Very, very good. Um, Let's get rid of the, the Pelucranos. Uh, Pelucranos is just an annoying card to deal with. We're gonna ditch that. Um, the fact that this has pro multicolored is like super annoying as well, by the way. Yep. Hmm, does that change how we do things? A little. <laughs> um, let's Croxa first. Normally I'd thought Erasure here, but let's do this. We'll see what they discard. Um, I'm kind of leaning towards doing this more because we need to uh, get a creature out on the battlefield, even if it does have pro multicolor. Uh, Lazav being a... Uh, a, um, a Croxa is still a very potent threat. Sorry if you hear um, grass cutting and landscaping in the background, by the way. Uh, our HOA is doing grass cutting and landscaping. <laughs> um, so, unfortunately. Uh, yep, that's good. Nope. Uh, what could we possibly get here? Not much, to be honest. So this can't block, um, but it does give us a way to start discarding some cards on the field. Uh, that's not great. I mean, extinction event? Is that really our only option? I think it is. Extinction event or bust. Man, we did not have good luck with this list. Um, I don't think it's a bad list, though. Again, I playtested this list a lot, um, and it was great, to be honest. Okay. Um, that does kind of change things. So let's do this. Let's get a card out of there. Okay. Um, deal three. Uh, we'll just play Mountain for now. Let's do this. Let's do this. Discard the Fabled Passage. Okay, now we get to phase this out, uh, which does buy us time. It doesn't actually save us at all, but it does buy us time. Um, and I think they can just play Pelucranus this turn, right? Which is going to be great. How much does it need? Oh, X six cards, excuse me. All right, Stone Coil Serpent is stupid. It's such a good card. Okay. Ugh. Yeah. Nope. Um. So we just die, right?
no sense in not attacking. They just get to kill it anyway, but... This technically buys us a turn. <laughs> no, not going to do it. Um, but this doesn't save us by any... Oh, it doesn't even buy us a turn, does it? Because they have trample. Yep. Wow. We did terribly, guys. That was awful. Um, yeah, unfortunately we just didn't get there. Um, some of that I think was misplaying, some of it was just we didn't have great luck on it. Um, Extinction Event would have really helped there, um, just because we could have gotten rid of everything, but it is what it is. Uh, we, what's nice about this deck is it does have the answers no matter what, it's just a matter of getting to them, uh, and getting them at the right time. That's what a control deck always comes down to, uh, generally speaking, you're gonna have an answer for it, but it's just if you can get it in time. Uh, and this one really doesn't do as good a job drawing cards. It does a good job of getting them into the graveyard, which is nice, but uh, it's really more focused on the discard portion of it and not quite as focused on, like, the obviously no counters, uh, but then also, like, being able to draw through and pick apart the things that you need. It does have a little bit of that with Norset, but not a ton. Um... Regardless, I do really like this deck. Uh, I'm basing that off of not just the two videos that you saw, but some playtesting that I did with it where I played, I think, another six games. I won five of the six games. Uh, I did lose one, but overall it was very clean uh, in the way it was able to deal with a lot of the stuff. So, um, unfortunately, that wasn't the case in the videos, and that's what you guys get to see, and so I apologize, but I do really like the deck. I would recommend, you know, if you've got a Grixis control list, share it down below. There's a lot of little bits and pieces that you can kind of swap out for uh, some other stuff in these Grixis lists, so I'd be interested to see what you guys have got, but I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I really do. This is a fun one. I like Grixis control lists, so I'm glad we got to play it, but thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next gameplay video.